Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel, Thrifty Farmhouse. I'm so honored that you have found your way here and that you are watching as I take on the biggest project of my life. So I always love DIYs, I've always loved making things new or updated or pretty, taking things that sh other people think are trash or junk and turning them into treasures. So why not go big or go home? Or how about go big and go home? So I have decided that I am capable for some reason to restore, renovate, and upgrade an old farmhouse into its original glory, but better than it was originally. So I'm so excited to be here, to be experiencing this, and to be able to share it with you guys. So follow along. I'd love to get to know you. I'd love to share this experience with you, and I'm excited to get started. Let's get to work. Hello, hello. So I thought I would do a walkthrough now that the boys are in bed. It's our second night in the house now. And I thought I'd do a little walkthrough so you can see kind of what it looks like before I get started. So it's got these gorgeous matching light fixtures with a, with a ceiling fan attached. Gorgeous windows and mirrors. I absolutely love these beautiful French doors. There's the other side. There's my beautiful boy. Hey, Ziki Boo. Okay, so these i'm excited it's gonna be so pretty come christmas have it decorated all the way around i'm really really excited about that so we'll open this this leads into the living room dining room area to the main of the house that chandelier was a replacement the owners took the original and i'm going to be putting in the brand new chandelier that i purchased today okay the mantle is being reinstalled tomorrow but this this here will be the living room area. I don't have all the lights turned on the house. Sorry about that. I mean, they all need the light bulbs. <laughs> so the walls right now are kind of like this dingy, dirty, white brown color right now. So I've picked out a new color and we're gonna start painting either tonight or tomorrow. But this is kind of what we're working with right now. So it goes into my kitchen, which again, I apologize, the lights are out. I will do an updated video probably tomorrow. But it's got these beautiful blue distressed farmhouse cabinets. Nice big farmhouse sink with a divider. And these are all going to need a little extra love. But this is the kitchen. So nice gas range fireplace. I do love the kitchen. It is obviously going to need a little bit of work. But it is beautiful. It has all the needs. And I love that these shutters do work. And they do allow me the opportunity to pass stuff through the window so I can keep the kids out of the kitchen because moms know that that is the safe place. <laughs> so here's more of a wider spot where you can see the kitchen, new flooring installed. So that color goes throughout. It's kind of dingy, just makes the place look old and dirty. And so I'm gonna clean it up, take down all these little spots where she had decor. And again, we've got the panel door all the way throughout the house. Come in here, I should have turned all the lights on, but I wasn't planning on videoing. So, but here we are. So, this will be my laundry room area. So it goes right in from the kitchen into the laundry room. Excuse the boxes. This was originally the entrance, or the back door, excuse me, to the house, but there's been an expansion. So now on the other side of that is my screen and porch. So this is a portion of the laundry room here, and it turns the corner into my walk-in pantry. I absolutely love it. Of course, it's gonna need a color facelift. I'm not a big fan of the olive color, not for the pantry at least. And I'll probably facelift the cabinet or the counters as well, but that is for another day. So, of course, all of this stuff, this is all going to have to go. That's what this is all about, right? So, we're excited. What do you think, Zeke? <laughs> so, okay, so then it flows into the master. We're waiting on our furniture to be delivered, but we've already got the nice wood on the walls. So we're probably going to turn that into a more traditional shiplap. And, of course, that lilac purple is going to have to go. And here's got a nice beautiful mantle. We'll probably have a nice big TV installed right there. I love that it has a double entrance so I can go this way or that way. My master bathroom is a little small compared to what I'm used to, but it's definitely manageable. If me and the German Shepherd can fit in here, then I guess it's gonna be okay. So it is a little dated. It's gonna need some work. So hi, 
but it's got some life to it. So we're gonna fix it up, we're gonna make it fine. Okay, so we'll go out of here. Come on, Zeke. Good boy. Okay, so from this side of the master, it opens up into, it goes into the upstairs where the boys' room is, and then it wraps back around. And of course, they had this very tacky tree that wasn't even installed correctly. Didn't even reinstall all of the lights and um, face plates and stuff like that for outlets. It's a little crazy, but it's a fixer upper. So here's another bathroom. Here's our half bath. It again is gonna need some work, but when I'm done with it, it's going to be beautiful. We're gonna pull up all that floor. We're gonna give this a facelift. It's not a whole new sink and vanity. Mirror's coming back in tomorrow. And then a nice tall mirror so you can stare at yourself. See, no. <laughs> okay, and then this is the original door from when it was originally built back in 83. And I absolutely love it, it has so much character. It's absolutely beautiful. I'm probably gonna end up continuing that design all the way throughout the house. It's just gorgeous, it screams that farmhouse look. So this is what we're working with right now. As for the main living area, I don't know why on earth anyone would cover a beam but they did. I guess they've never seen Joanna Gaines. <laughs> but this is the fireplace. The beautiful mantle will be back in here tomorrow. And okay, so we'll go upstairs now. Just to get a walk through. The boys are asleep, so we're not going to go all the way in the room. But just to show just how tall these ceilings really are. They're going to be so hard to paint. So we got this. These carpeting will eventually be pulled up. Like, make sure it goes all the way up. Zeke, don't you wake those boys. And I'll do a, a walkthrough during the day as well. They really damaged the wall. It has to be refixed. Sleeping babies. And another nice big country bedroom. So, and it is pretty spacious. Nice big window. Hey, buddy. You sweet boy. Okay, so this, shh, don't wake the babies. Okay, so we'll come in here to the second full bath. So, excuse the kids' shoes. Nice little utility closet. And again, a nice little country. Isn't that cute? I love country cutie. So, this is, of course, coming on a facelift. Uh, they've had some structural issues and plumbing issues, so it did receive a little bit of damage, but we've got that fixed. So, we'll go back downstairs. Okay, so we'll come to the final floor here. So behind these doors is my basement. Basement is unfinished, which gives me plenty of room to grow. It is a nice big open space. Hey buddy. Okay, so this is what we have so far. So, this big pool table. And then the craziest, weirdest bathroom I have ever seen, but it'll be taken care of. <laughs> so it is technically a three bedroom, three and a half bath. I've never seen anything like this bathroom, <laughs> but we're working on it. It's mainly used for getting out of the hot tub and pool when there was a pool, but right now it's just a hot tub. A right, really nice cool little space, and then we can come out here. It is dark and there's only one light on, so I don't know how much you'll be able to see. Nice little patio area, hot tub, and you can't see at this hour, but there's two acres of land and it goes for a pretty good ways. It's a nice, flat, beautiful area. So I'm excited. So come on in, Zeke. So I'm excited. You guys get to see this. You get to experience this with me. And I can't wait to show you how it goes. Bye, guys.